now we will see a simple structure for the structure we will see concrete frame design and slab design so i will go with the use built in settings with click okay now i am going to consider only two and then two and then the spacing also i will consider only four and four and the stories i will consider two and then three meter height so click okay Okay, so for the small structure, I will go for a quick beams, columns, and slabs. So I'm just going to change this to fixed support. Assign, restraint, fixed. Click OK. So we can see in the 3D view. Okay. Now for this, I will go for define load patterns. We have date and live load. So I will continue only with these two loads as of now. Assign, joint load, force. So control A and then OK. Again, assign shell load uniform. So for date load, I will consider. So 3.5. Control A, apply. And I will go for live load. 2.5. So date load, we can uh, calculate based on the cross sections and the thickness. So live load, we can take 2.5 to 3 for normal structures. Now I will go for define load combination, add default define combos, concrete frame design, and concrete slab design, convert to user combination editable. So we can edit later. So click OK. Now I will go for assign shell diaphragm. So control A and then assign the diaphragm. Analyze, check model, select and OK. So model has been checked, no warnings. So run analysis. So now we got the analysis. Now we can go for concrete frame design. So we can go for view and then here we have IS456, click OK. So we can go for start design check. So here we got, we can go and check here, verify all members passed, all concrete frame passed the design check. Now we can just uh, keep the cursor somewhere here in the beam or column. We can go for right click and we can go for details and diagrams. This is applicable for both beams and columns. Now I will also go for a slab design that we have here. So concrete slab design. So here we can go for view or revise preferences. So here it is like for IS 456 2000. So now here we can go for start design. So we can select the stories we want and then click OK. Okay, now I will save this and close. I am going for detail. 
So file, new detailing, select the file that which we created now. So now we are getting some warning. So design strip results are not available. Fire summary results are not available. Spandrel summary results are not available. Click OK and uh, click OK. Then we will get everything. But for slab, we don't have any rebars. So we can check with the beams. So here we have rebar cage. So this is for the beam. And we can also go for column. So for column also, we have the rebar cage. So only we are not getting first lab. Why? Because we need to put strips. So I will close this. I will open the file that which we created. So unlock the model. So go for edit, add or edit design strips, add design strips for story two in X direction, apply, and also in Y direction and select the layer and apply. So this is supposed to be for all story. So in Y direction, apply and X direction, select the layer, apply, click OK. Now go for analysis. Go for a start design. See, now we are getting this kind of things. This is what called as flexural design. So again, I will go for start design check for concrete frame designs. Okay, now I will save. And I will close it. Now we can go for detail. So file, new detailing, open the file that which we saved now. Okay, now here we can just go for uh, preferences for uh, concrete detailing preferences. So here we can able to make the labels different. So for beams B, for columns, uh, C like that, click OK. And if you want to change the rebar uh, rules and everything, so here for spacing and everything, we can able to change. And even for the rebar sizes, we can able to see. So now I'm just going to continue with as it is, click OK. See, now we can able to see the slab details, framing plan, rebar plan, See here, we are getting rebar plans and everything. Bottom rebar plan. So top rebar plan, bottom rebar plan. Separately also we are getting. So section also we can able to see. Now, especially we can go for rebar cage. See, for the slab, this is the rebar cage. So like that. So like this, we can able to input loads and we can go for analysis and we can come to the detail for this kind of detailings. So it is uh, especially we have any ETAPs. So kindly make use of it. This is for beam. This is for So we also having a rebar quantities, bill of materials. So elevation, section, everything. Even it is applicable for columns also. See concrete column schedule like that. 